Digidestins, did you hear the bell? That means it's another day in the market watch. So I'm excited to talk about some other stuff. We are starting to see BT16 cards start hitting the market. So you know the rules. We're not really going to invest into them unless it looks profitable. There's already a case opening that we know that LM support is more rampant than even just the base set. So just keep that in mind. I would I hope there's going to be so much issues with having the LM set in there, but without a further ado, let's dive into the video and talk about it. So first off, we're going to talk about none other than Angel Woman Ace Exceed Apocalypse BT15 already hitting for $15. No surprise here. She will come down a little bit, but the waifu tax is going to be strong on her. Usually they are. And the Ace is solid enough, especially with yellow vaccine. They're both very competent cards that you want to be playing. So just keep that in mind here, that even going forwards, that there is confidence to see. Uh, Metal Gurumon Exceed Apocalypse BT15. This is one of the cards that one person opened a case already, and it's already proving that you only get one. In, there was only one copy of this. LM Quantumon had four, and Apocalymon saw only three. So just keep that in mind. This common secret is going to probably be Quantumon, uh, Metal Gurumon. At least it's a one of. You don't need to be diving too much money into this. This isn't like a four of necessary for the deck. So you can pick up a couple, two of these very easily. Don't invest into him at 50s though. I think he's going to be like in the tens very quickly. Let's see. Let's take a look. Myotismon Ace also sitting in the nines. This card is going to be a dollar. There's no reason for this thing to be expensive. I mean, it's a really good ace in purple, but outside of that, you really are not investing into this. Raremon, Raremon, let's get into this. <sighs> the crazy shenanigans that people believe, th this is the problem with Bandai. Promo needed cards are way too expensive. $24, I don't see him being that valued, but people are buying him in the 30s and stuff like that, so that's on you. I would just hold out and wait. There's no reason for this. It's not a necessity card. It's even in Mugen, you can live without it. So there's no reason for you guys to be flocking to this thing as crazily because you get you get better replacement soon. So you get 24s, 30s, but you know, purple decks trying to claim that you want to play this. I it's a good card, don't get me wrong. Being able to trash one, draw two is really solid. But you prefer cards that draw then trash because sometimes the cards you draw you want to get in the graveyard you want full access to that trashing ahead of time and then drawing two is not always beneficial uh rare mon's really good in decks that you want to speed up like that like apocalypse and stuff like that but outside of that you don't you're not really digging for much in purple purple usually has enough draw on its own yes we hit the guru mon engine and we hit the eyes mon engine but there are still plenty of other engines that work. Your upside looking like 14s, 15s, 18s, 20s. Leviathan Alternate Art Animal Coliseum finally hitting that $40 mark. No surprise here. Going up to 50s. Um, yeah, people are getting hyped for the Snapdragon here. So big Serpent King Demon Lord here. You know this is this is X's aftermath. So no surprise here. Leviathan X can be scary. Your upside looking like 35, 38, 40s. No surprise. Zubarman. Promo limited card pack version 2. So we're sitting at $18 right now. Going up to 19 to 20. It's on buyout status. Okay. I'm going to be straight with you guys. We already get default raid. <laughs> we get default a lot of our stuff. You're you're building a single stack with the new rag Ragnarok stuff. The old Raga likes it, but to be honest with you, now with the new Mega Digimon Fusion that basically lets you do what Zuber Iga wants to kind of do, you know, this is just not worth playing anymore. I mean, it can be a special two of to you, but at the end of the day, Zuber is just not worth it in my opinion. But that's just me. Up to you how you want to handle this, but. I think smart move would be it's either a two of or a zero. There's really no need for him for the list from what I've been looking at. 
it's a, another card that, yes, you can do stuff, but most of your effects just come from hand to tuck under anyway now. So you're losing hand tempo, but you want cards that are going to draw you for putting stuff in there. So z hard playing Zubra is not going to be as beneficial now. So I, I don't see it staying at this 18. Your upside looking like 12 euros and 39 cents to goes to 15 to 22. Rapamon Alternate Art New Awakening BTOA, $25 and climbing. No surprise here. We're going to 40s. Uh, don't invest into it. We get an alternate art soon. Your side looking like 15s, 25, 28s. Lady Devi alternate art dimensional phase finally hit that $40 mark. This was inevitable. This is like Thanos coming. So no lie here. We're just looking at it now. This is, this is all just because of EX6. So expect this to be expensive from going forward. You want to be playing this card. Europe side looking like 15s, 22s, and it's climbing too. Paroxamon, time to get your stuff now. We're starting to see the trend moving up. This is going to reach 10 to 15s pretty quickly because people are going to be getting on the hype train for it. Um, And, you know, cards are very prevalent, so it's going to help you out to make your deck, but just expect the resurgent booster to climb up. Your upside looking like 17s, 20 euros, going down at least, but we're going to probably reach these heights soon. Wormon P18, Tamer Party Pack, the beginning version, $22 and climbing. No surprise here. Wormon's just going to be expensive going forwards. Luckily, the deck does not need him to be able to compete. You That is just one of its two routes. So you don't need Wormon promo to actually do something. Wormon promo just makes the deck a little bit more better but that's if you're green more focus your upside looking like nine euros 12 euros hopefully they reprint this sh stuff soon palmon alternate art blast ace bt 14 we're on buyout status one more person can come in here pay 15 and boom she's 20 30 dollar card so i'm not surprised here palmon got great support in pt 15 your upside looking like 10 11s Dyn Dynasmon Alternate Art from Versus Royal Knights BT13. We're looking at 35 tops. So we're at 35s to 43s. Wow. Somebody could come out here, clear out the 35s, and it'll be a $43 card. Up to 50. I don't know if it'll sell in that range, but somebody will definitely clear this out sooner than later. So Dynasmon is going to definitely keep climbing, especially if we get Lusamon Satanic Mode, the big bad dragon with the ball if we get that card right as the final card revealed on thursday expect this card to shoot up even further your upside looking like 30 euros 35 euros 40 euros yep this is the aftermath basically this is hype so i'm not surprised here vimon digimon royal cards royal knights card set starter deck nine ultimate ancient dragon starter deck nine so we're hitting $50 and we're on buyout status. Five listings left. No surprise here. Just because why not? We want the free searcher. So we're going to be playing him. Your upside looking like 30 euros, 42 euros. Yeah. Ragna Lord Monster deck 13. Guys, this this finally caved and broke. We're now hitting $5. I'm not surprised here. This is was inevitable. This is just what's going to happen. And with the new option that we got, this now makes it so that this Ragnar Lord can actually function in the deck. You have to run the option to be able to use it a little more consistently so that you can do what the new Ragnar Lord can do with its Blast Evolve. But being able to now have two ways of joggersing on your opponent's turn, well, on your turn, and being able to take them both from hand with the new Ultimate Chaos Fusion or whatever it is, this this is going to be really a solid way of getting into your sevens. Your upside looking like one euro fifty cents, two euros. You guys got it kind of cheap. You're not on our catch catch up yet, but you guys are starting to move. Ragnar Lord Alton Art from Release Special Booster BTO One. This is no surprise here. This card got bought out and hit hard. We're at sixteens, twenty fives. So guys, time to flip this. If you guys have no intention on playing Ragnar Lord, this is your time to shine. Make your money. 
Europe side looking like 45 euros, 50 euros, 60 euro. Well, four euros, 50 cents, five euros, six euros. Yeah, you guys are a little you are a lot cheaper than us, but no movement yet. Legendary Arms Alliance store top four. So the high rarity card here seeing some traction actually sell sellings in threes and twos the last couple days. But finally, it's on buyout. We're at sevens to eights. To 20 real quick somebody could clear up this these sevens and eights and now it's sitting at 20 bucks your upside looking like five cents nine 50 cents a uh, one euro for the top four so nothing too crazy lilymon ace english exclusive alternate blast ace bt14 58 kind of cooling off here but no surprise here i mean it's not the prettiest art i mean you only want it because of sad sun flowmon here just it's just a mood your your just mood is Sunflowmon, so I mean, looking like sixty dollars, kind of cheap still, but I wouldn't be surprised if this gets bought out soon. Europe side looking like forty six euros, forty eight, fifty euros. Yeah, Armadillomon promo one two one. So yeah, this card is now seventeen dollars. Great, should have picked them up when you they were threes. So now this card is expensive. I do not see this thing coming down anytime soon. There's a lot of potential of what it can do. Europe side looking like five euro, five euros, six euros, eight euros, nine euros on buyout status as well. Helugermon Blast Ace pre-release cards starting to cool off. It's at eighteen dollars now, but it's fine. We're not looking like crazy. Europe side looking like six euro, eight euros, eight euros, ten euros. Palmon Event Pack 4 Cross Encounter BT10 shooting up to $33.98. So $34, boys and girls. Expect this to be expensive. I wouldn't be surprised if this clams up more. Europe side looking like 16s, 17s. Might be a good snag on the low end when this start cards start climbing. Amimon Alternate Release Special Booster. This this is the original OG like $67, $100 card. So this is this is a this is it's kind of sad to see it back into 15s, but people are buying them recently in the 15s and stuff like that. Might be just because the Aboramon might be a thing that you wanna just clear the whole board on. But just up to you what you want to do. Omnimon's just not worth the you know six cost evolve. It's just too expensive. Remember when that was like the peak of evolution, you get to Omnimon 7 level seven and then you just blast through so yeah nervous side looking like 30 euros 32 euros kind of good to see it come down a little bit saber german finally picking back up a little bit i expect once we reach march 1st this tanks because anubis is legal for the next couple weeks and i'm not surprised here europe side looking like 13s 14s 15s but we also do have the birds deck, so Saber Dramon is played in that list, bat two. So it's up to you. What do you want to do? Then we have Lunamon. Lunamon skipped. Yup, rat. So sixteen dollars and climbing. This could be for a num number of reasons. There is supposedly a deck going around called Luna Loop. Um, it's a theme that basically uses Lunamon to bounce any aces up into the air. So. Basically, because she's going to gain you two memory, your your aces are now costing you only one loss of memory. And then you get to use their replay effect at a cheaper cost. I think it's a interesting lit deck. I'll have to do some more testing on it, but it looks fun and exciting. So, you know, you use like Magnamon aces. You use like anything that has an on play effect, like Zudo ace, kind of just a bounce them up to just keep spamming their on play effect and it kind of just creates a control situation so it's a really interesting theme don't get me wrong your upside looking like 11 euros 12 euros ukamon promo one two three so this is sevens right now uh don't get wrong here i think it's going to climb up a little bit more once we get to decks and the meta once the restrictions are removed well in play seven euros eight euros yeah 
Mirai. Mirai's starting to cool down, actually. Good to see her coming down to the 14s again. So it's good to see that she's coming down. Hopefully we'll see a Mirai soon in the format. So I'm excited to see what they do. A new Mirai for EX6 is going to be nice. Europe side looking like 14s, 19s. Yeah, climbing. Lugamon Alternart climbing up as well. They're in the 30s, 35s. Pretty quickly, they're disappearing. They'll reach a $4 card because Lugamon has potential. Europe side looking like... Get back over here, dog. Uh, 25s to 28 euros, which is not bad. Doruman Alternate Art cooling off. Good to see down to 35s, but it doesn't stay there long. People are snatching these up at 34s pretty quickly anytime it's listed. So... If you guys have these, list this at 34 and you'll make some decent profit. Your upside look like 27 euros, 30 euros, 35 euros. Kind of selling in the 27, like 28 range pretty comfortably. So just up to you. So that's all for the market watch, guys. Hopefully, guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you next one. Peace.